Hey everyone, tonight we're going to do a guided past life regression meditation. I'm going to guide you through a meditation that will help you discover your past lives. So, take a few minutes, get completely comfortable. You may want to make sure that you do this at night. It's better when the lights are low, it's quiet, there'll be no interruptions or distractions. So make sure you're in a place where you can have all of that. I'm going to give you a little bit of information before we get started. During meditation, there may be a sensation in your body, with your arms and legs particularly. You will either feel weighted down, or you may feel weightless. You may feel like you're hovering above the surface that you're laying on. Or your arms and legs may feel like they're being disconnected from you, that your, your body's not attached to them. Those sensations are perfectly normal. That, has, that is a symbol, a sign that you have truly let go and relaxed. It's okay if you don't feel that way. Not everyone does, but quite often you will have that sensation. One of those three. Like I said before, make sure that you're in a comfortable place. You want to be laying down. Make sure that your legs are not crossed and that your arms are not crossed. You want to lay your arms out beside you and you want to be completely comfortable. You can pause the video at any moment while you get yourself situated. And then when you're ready, start the video, close your eyes, and allow me to guide you through the process. So we're going to start out with our breathing. You want to just completely relax. Take a deep breath in and by the count of five or seven. And then release that breath and count backwards from five or seven back down to one. I'm going to say use seven. But you choose a number that's comfortable for you. Always be comfortable. So you're going to take a deep breath in. And then let it back out. I'm going to take another deep breath in. let it back out. Continue to do this as we go through the rest of your body when we release the tension in your body. We're going to start at the feet. Notice your feet and if they have any tension in them. If they do, just let that tension go and just completely relax your feet. Allow yourself to sink into the bed or whatever it is that you're laying on. We're going to move up to the ankles and the calves. And again, if there's any tension, any stress in them, we're just going to release that and let it go completely. We're going to move up to the knees and the thighs. And again, release any tension that is there. Allow your body to fully let go and relax. We're going to move up to the hips and the lower back and just let go. We're going to move up your back to your shoulders and again release any stress, any tension that may be in them. Just let go. Move down your arms and your hands and your fingers and relax. We're going to move up your neck and your head, and again, we're just going to completely and fully let go. Just relax. Allow it to lay in the position that it wants to lay in and relax. Now remember to keep your eyes closed because you are relaxing and this is a meditation. And now that we have our breathing and rhythm, We're going to allow our spirit to rise up and leave our body. And you're going to meet me just above you in the sky. Well, I'll be waiting in the cloud above you. And as your spirit raises up from your body, you're going to be able to look down and see yourself laying there. 
You'll see the room that you're laying in. You'll see everything. Remember that you are protected and you are loved. And I'm asking Spirit to only take us to a past life that is going to help us with some issue in this life. Remember during the entire meditation that you're, you are only observing. You are loved and you are protected. Now raise up above your body and meet me in the cloud. Hi there. Now we're going to take a little flight. We're going to float across a field, a beautiful wide field. You can look down and you can see the flowers and the tall grasses. Maybe even a deer or two. On the other side of that field is a forest. And you're going to float toward that forest across the field. And you can look down and see all the things below the field. And you're going to very slowly drift across that field till we get to the edge when you come to the end of the field you're going to slowly lower yourself down feet on the ground you'll feel the grass beneath your feet and you'll feel the tall grasses rubbing against your legs you can reach down and touch them with your hands you look up and you see the, the forest in front of you. We're going to start walking toward that forest. Walking toward the trees. So we make our way from the edge of the field into the forest. As we get closer to the forest, you notice something strange about the trees. They each have a door. So now that you're noticing all the doors on the trees, you're going to look across the forest at all the trees and all the doors and you're going to see which one calls to you. You're going to pick a tree and you're going to walk toward that tree. Walk around as many trees as you like until you find the one, your tree. The one that is calling to you. So now you found your tree and you're standing in front of the door. Notice the door, notice the shape of the door and the wood and how it's made. You notice a doorknob there. So you're going to reach down, you're going to take the doorknob, and you're going to open the door. You're going to step inside the tree. Once you're inside the tree, you notice there's a spiral staircase that leads below the earth. There's a handrail, so you're going to put your hand on the rail and you're going to start walking down the spiral staircase. The further down we go, we're going deeper and deeper into the earth. Step by step. Around and around. Beneath the earth. Down the spiral staircase. We're just going to keep walking for a little bit step after step we're going deeper into the earth you notice how the rail feels in your hand as you go lower the deeper you go beneath the earth it kind of feels like the spiral staircase doesn't have an ending but it does you're just going to keep walking down step by step deeper into the earth. Step by step, deeper into the earth. Now we're at the bottom of the staircase. 
and we see another door. We stand there for a moment and notice the door. Now we're going to reach out and grab the doorknob and open the door. We open the door and it's no longer dark. It's daytime. We step outside that tree and look at our surroundings. This is your life. This is your past life. So take a good look around and notice the landscape. Where are you? What country are you in? Are there houses? Are there fields? Are there big buildings? Are you in a city or the country? Look down at yourself and look at how old you are. Look at the clothes that you're wearing. Are you male or female? Take your time to walk around and look at everything. Notice the time period and the time of year. Is it hot or is it cold? Is it raining? Is it snowing? What's going on and where are you? Is anyone with you? Take your time to get familiar with where you are. Make a mental note of everything that you see, everything that you feel, Now in a moment, I'm going to count to three, and we're going to jump ahead to the most important day in that lifetime. Continue walking around, noticing everything that you can about that life. One, two, three. Now it's the most important day in that lifetime. What's happening? What's going on and why is that day so important to you? Who's with you on that day? Take your time. And take in all the noticings. Make mental note of everything you see everything you feel and everything that is going on why is this day so important what's happening remember that you are safe and that you are loved no matter what's going on what's happening around you you are safe and you are protected How old are you on this day? What kind of life event is happening? And where are you? In a few moments, I'm, the count to, I'm going to count to three again. And we're going to take you to the death in that lifetime. Remember that you are safe and you are protected. I'll give you a few more minutes on your important day. So that you can see what's happening. Take in the full experience of whatever this is.
one, two, three. Now if we fast forward it to the day of your death. Again, you're going to notice who's with you, what happened, what caused your death, how are you feeling, how old are you. Remember that you are just witnessing what has already happened. You are safe, you are loved, and you are protected. These are only memories. So make a good mental note of everything around you, everything that is going on, everything that you are seeing and, in, and feeling. You are safe, you are loved, and you are protected. When you are ready, you will leave this plane and you will come back up to the, to the cloud with me. Once you have had your full experience, you will rise back up and come join me in the cloud. Take your time. Once you are back in the cloud with me, we will float back over to your body and you can come back into yourself. Take your time, remember to breathe, and when you are ready, you can open your eyes again. everyone enjoyed this it may take a few times to get the hang of it be sure to listen to this meditation over and over again until you can get there sometimes you don't always go somewhere sometimes it's just not meant to be I'd love to hear your stories if you'd like to share them with me so go to the, my, my page the healing path of the raven on Facebook and share with me let us all know where you went, what your experiences were, and what was it, what lesson was it that you needed to know to help you in this life. Have a great night, everyone, and remember, Spirit loves you.